Hi everyone, it's Vicky here, and I'm actually going to be doing my follow-up sessions um, tag, whatever. It was created by Kaylee McKenzie, and I'm really, really excited to do this. It's basically saying what your favorites of fall are, and I think this is just amazing. I loved, I did the summer besties, and I just w hope somebody comes up with something for winter. And what's after winter? Oh. Spring. Yeah, spring. So I hope somebody comes up with something for that too. But I'm just going to get started. So the first thing to show you guys is my favorite face product. And actually, I've been loving the Bobbi Brown Oil. I have a problem saying oil. Okay, oil-free, even finish, compact foundation, and warm almond. Just basically looks like this. Um, it actually has really good coverage, and I think this is good for the fall because you kind of want a little bit more coverage, but not as much as you would in winter. So you want something like this, not really a tinted moisturizer. Um, it's pretty, really, it's really smooth, and, um, it has a really, really big mirror. So you want something like this, probably in the winters when you really want to go on with your pressed powders and stuff like that. So, I really like this, um compact foundation and I do actually take this one to school and keep my MAC one at home. So the next thing is my favorite blush and this blush actually broke and I'm really so sad about it but it's actually this orangey peachy blush if you can see that. I'm just going to swatch it. Um, it's basically like that and you can tell that it's a really kind of corally color and I have it on my cheeks right now and I think these kind of warm tones are really really good for um, fall and stuff. They just brighten up you and I was talking with my friends earlier that you don't want to look too cakey in the fall. You actually want to have a pretty good, sorry it's called, yeah, okay, so you actually want to have a pretty good um, cover on your face and you want to have looking smiley but you don't want to look like, you know how some girls do the blush like straight down, you don't want something like that or like they even do it straight up, like um, they just do a straight line, you actually want to um, something to look pretty much natural, so I think that's really good. And that is the Mary Kay blush. This is the Mary Kay blush. It was actually a duo, and it's in Canon Gold. So the next thing is my favorite lip combo. And my lip combo is kind of... It's kind of weird. It's basically one ugly color and one really, really cute color. And this is a high-end makeup product, or some people would say. It's Avon's Wineberry. And it looks like that. And I actually do think it's a pretty color. I think it's a really nice color. Um... I think that if you're ever going to invest in a color, probably invest in a color that you would not normally see at a drugstore. This is actually has gold undertones, and um, it has a little bit of gold undertone, but it's mostly purple. And it's one of those um, colors like this, and you might be like, that's so ugly, but if you use it very lightly, it actually comes off pretty, pretty pretty nicely so you want to use something like that I have just a brighter version of this on my lips which is Mary Kay's hibiscus and then anything over that um I just use kind of a clear sheer gloss with a little bit of color this is Elf's hyper shine lip gloss in Vixen and it's just kind of a red color I think it's really really pretty to be honest and I just put that all over my lips and it gives it a little bit of red tint. It's not really those lip glosses that look like they have color and come off clear, especially on darker skin tones. It actually comes off a little bit red, so that's really nice. So the next thing is my favorite eye product, and I think this is definitely, like, definitely, definitely the fall color. It's Rubenesque Paint Pot. It looks like this. That's basically the color, and I think this is something to invest in for fall. It's about, it was 17 pounds because I did get mine in London, um, but I actually got it at the London airport, but I think it's, I think it's worth it. You're never, you're probably never going to run out of this paint pot, Rubenex paint pot, um, unless you use it every single day, you probably run out of it in 10 years. Just saying. So, I think Ruben S Paint Pot, it swatches out pretty gold, and you can put any eyeshadow over this, and it would still come out, like, I just think it's great as a primer, it's great, like, I even sometimes use it as a highlight, and on some looks, it looks really, really good. So, um, I'm just going to swatch it, and you can see how it just creates a kind of shimmery kind of base. That's the kind of things that I think are really cute for fall, like, kind of glowy, not really dewy, but glowy kind of skin, but still looking natural. So my next thing is my favorite nail polish. This is a very cheapy nail polish, I'm not going to lie, but I love the color. Again, ugly colors for fall, that's me. Um, colors like this, it does resemble my Wineberry. So, basically this is the Wet n Wild's Casting Call in Rose Sage. And, I don't know. 
know. I I think Rose Sage um, is a better name for this than Casting Call. But it looks really, really nice um, in the fall. And I think it looks nice on probably lighter skin tones. I haven't seen this on anybody with lighter skin tones. But on my skin tone, it looks pretty nice too. So... I think this is a really nice color, and I think you guys should get this color. Um, it was very cheap at Walgreens, so Cast and Call, or Rose Sage, just this kind of wet and wild bottle, and it did kind of scrap off a little bit, and I, I actually think it's going to last a while, so yeah. So, the next thing is my favorite hair product. Sorry, I was about to say fashion item. Um, I do have coarse hair, so I use the Johnson & Johnson Ultra Sheen original formula conditioner and hair dress just looks like this it's a blue bottle it's basically just hair cream um it actually gives it a pretty shine to your hair and makes it not as rough i use it in the morning and it pretty much it, it makes it look nice and silky and smooth and stuff like that and it's not that expensive you can probably get this at any drugstore or like rite aid cvs walgreens or a beauty supply store you can definitely get this probably like sally's beauty supply so just look for anything like this. It's Johnson & Johnson product. It's really nice. And it's probably not that expensive because I know my parents will not spend much. Like, my dad buys it for me. And, like, you know, if your dad's going to buy something for your hair, it's not going to be that expensive. Just saying. Okay. At least my dad. So my favorite fashion item is actually crop tops. And not even, like, the big bright crop tops. Like, just things like this. This is actually a little bit more deeper in brown in person. But just things like this that um remind me of fall because I, like, um... I don't really go with dark, like, browns, like my skin tone browns because I don't want them to blend in. I kind of would go lighter instead of going darker. So things like this. Sorry for my white tank top. My black one's actually dirty, but things like this, um, I think look really nice. And they have the little bows on them. And this reminds you of Bub's Beauty. She actually made bows right across the top. This actually reminds me of hers. And there's one in blue and pink, just like, um, she did a blue one. So there was one in blue and pink, and I was like, oh, that's so nice. But I didn't get it. I actually got this one because I thought it would be better for fall when I did back-to-school shopping. So this is basically... The, the kind of fashion I like, and I wouldn't wear this with a white tank top, I'd wear it with black, or I'd wear it with a strapless bra, and that's it, but it's pretty short, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty short, it ends around my belly button, so that's why I wouldn't wear it. Sorry for the weird light, lighting change, I was gonna say lightning, that'd be scary. So, sorry for that, but I just wanted to film this, because I felt in my old fashion or follow sessions, I wasn't being so just look out for myself. vlogs and stuff like that because those are going to be coming up, and I'm really excited to just show you guys like vlogs are coming up, and um, more fall videos are coming up because I love the fall, and that's all I have to say. Hope you guys comment rate, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me, like really the world to me, and that's all I have to say. I really do love you guys, and hope you have a nice day. Bye.